All right, we got this Cover Pro 10 by 20 foot portable car canopy. It's all purpose, it says. It's from Harbor Freight. It's a good day to check it out because it's gloomy and it's going to rain probably. So we'll get this thing together and see if it's worth its weight, I guess. Got it on sale. So we'll see. All right, this thing is packaged pretty well. It has tape, if you see there. And that was actually running over the top of the tarp and they put a piece of like tissue paper or thin foam in between the tarp and that tape so they took care to wrap this thing coming all the way from china i mean usually things come banged up but everything is pretty much wrapped up tight in there so we'll start getting it out and look at the pieces all right so we got everything laid out it seems like it's all slip fit um there's a few pieces of hardware that they give now reading some of the reviews people were saying that it's trash it rips but if you can see these are actually rebar stakes i guess that's if you're going in dirt or something those are pretty beefy i mean they're the smallest type rebar you would see in the store maybe three eighths or so and then some metal pins all right here bungee straps some rope but it all slips together, so we'll see how it, how it goes together. All right, so this is one side of the thing assembled, and there's still a middle piece, so we'll take a walk. It is ridiculously large. Absolutely a multi-person job. The thing is huge. I'll try and give you guys a uh, shot here of it. It's too wide to even fit in the frame of the camera. So again, this is one side. Look, look, look how long it is. That's one side, 20 feet right there. You have to assemble another one and connect them in the middle. All right, so correction. This centerpiece is the pitch and then you add another leg. So that's kind of the top area and it goes way down, way down. All right, this is the whole thing assembled, except for the legs. The next step calls for the tarp to be slung over the top of it. Again, it's pretty long. So you just throw the tarp over it and the rugged side that's sewed but the jagged side goes on the inside so all the smooth sides outside and we've got a center line tape it looks like here where it's joined and now it's calling to put the bungee cords on so there's eyelets all along the side here right up in there and you're gonna attach the bungee cord to that to the pole all right there it is the tarp is not super easy to get on and you want to make sure where there's double seamed lines like extra material that's what needs to rest on the bar and getting the little bungee cords on was very tight I'll give you a shot under there look at that this thing is huge now we got to get the legs set up on the inside all right that's it standing up on one side with one set of legs in standing up like this is probably Almost six feet just on one side. It's even got a nice cover pro, I guess, not decal, but banner. So well thought of. And these little eyelet links, they're everywhere. And that's kind of how you got to loop them through there. And then once everything's set up, you can go around and twist them and put them down like that. It's got a flap that covers it. So we'll see exactly how long these things hold out. Because this is really what's keeping the tension on all these poles. We may go around and screw some screws in it. Uh, but depending on how it holds up, I might let it set for a couple months in the weather and see. But this is not a bad investment if it stays together. All right, we got this thing set up. It is massive. Talking massive, massive. Everything fit together well. Recommend getting a rubber mallet. This is not a one-person job. You have to have multiple people to do this because of lifting this thing up. 
So we're gonna back the dually under here and see if it fits. All right, we got the dually up underneath here. As you can see, the mirror is clear. There are no issues. You can open the doors. Everything clears and backs up. We have it backed all the way up to the last pole here off of this truck's hitch. That's the factory hitch, but if you don't have this bumper and one of those um, hitches sticking out, you can come back probably another two to three feet. So like I said, you can get in and out of the vehicle no problem. This is a 3500 dually with the eight foot bed. So this is one of the longest configuration trucks that you can, that's usually on the road passenger wise for, for, for non-commercial use. So it's a really long truck. And as you see here, it clears the wheel well and everything and about half of the engine. So without these long bumpers on, you could probably get almost all of this underneath here with no issues. Just a little bit sticking out. This is definitely an easy, good setup if you have help to do it. It seems sturdy. Everything, you just have to kind of cinch it down and do whatever, get it, get it situated. So we're gonna get it set up. Make sure you stake it down, make sure everything's taut and tight and only time will tell how long this thing's gonna last. Hope this helps. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe.